Hello, YouTube family. Auntie is here. I'm Patty Jackson. I'm your auntie of pop culture, and I'm finding that green is my color from my baseball cap is somewhere, but I have a green Eagles cap to represent the Eagles. Oh, it's, 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 it's way over there, but my green shirt. Wait, my green readers. I think green is my color. It's a cute not knowing. Now it's time to know. Come on in. I'm your auntie at Pop Culture, and today it's short and sweet, and we're going to take some time to answer some questions. First off, what can we expect when Usher takes halftime stage at the Super Bowl next year? It's February the 11th in Las Vegas. It's going to be a little bit like the Vegas show. There'll be girls dancing on poles. I'm sure they'll complain about that. There'll be a lot of roller skating because, you know, Usher is into roller skating. Many of you wondered, well, how much does he get paid to perform halftime at the Super Bowl? He makes no money. Now, I believe the dancers and all these other people that they'll have, they'll get paid. But this is a good springboard for Usher, who's going to go on a global tour. He's got a new album, Coming Home, coming out. So it's great promotion for him. And I think it's going to be a great show. Lunell started streaming last night, her comedy show. You guys are going to have to let me know how you think. Hey, love, congratulations. Dave Chappelle produced it, and it's streaming. It's called Town Business on Netflix. Now, what Lunell has done with her social media, the things before the show, Tony Rock, Dave Chappelle taking the stage, they filmed it in Oakland, and Lunell, I loved the behind the scenes of your comedy special. Well, the writer's strike is officially over. This means starting next week, Jimmy Kimmel, Jimmy Fallon, Stephen Colbert, late night shows are back, and they're going to start as soon as Monday. Now, the actor strike has yet to be settled. Hopefully, that will be coming soon. So, if you see an actor, They'll be promoting a book. They won't be, can't talk about any projects, but hopefully the actor strike will be over and everyone can go back to work and we can look forward to some great movies and things like that for the winter season. Jamie Foxx, 55, they say he's very in love with his 29-year-old girlfriend. And after having that life-threatening experience, earlier this year, that he's ready to get married. A lot of his friends are worried, but it looks like Jamie is in love, maybe for the first time in years. Last year was not a good year for Nia Long. The controversy with her boyfriend, Emu Udoka, who was the head coach of the Boston Celtics, got caught cheating. Apparently, he was one of the wives of one of the executives, and it was a scandal, and they put their business all in the street. And Nia Long was just collateral damage because she's got a son with this man, and it was just out there. Well, Nia opened up on the podcast, and she called out that other chick, Kathleen Lynch. She said, ain't nobody have her name all over. They wanted to protect her, but they put my name all out there. And she had a very, very good point. Nia is still angry about what happened. And to be exposed like that for the world, she was collateral damage. Emu Udoka is now the head coach of the Houston Rockets. They have to raise a son together, so it's not like, I'm never going to speak to you again. She has to because they have a young son. But she brought a good point in. Her name was flashed everywhere. Meanwhile, the mistress, the side chick, they wanted to shield her and Keep it private, but Neil Long said, Kathleen Lynch, she just let everybody know. And look at me. <laughs> Kathleen Lynch was the woman who was involved. And Nia, I hope that you're able to find some peace. It's never easy when you're hurt. And that was humiliating. But I hope you also got a chance to see how many people love you because she was, of course, in the best man. But last year was rough. The years are still rough for Shakira. Now, we love Shakira, Shakira. And she's dancing, doing her thing, but she owes them damn taxes. They're saying from a tax bill, 2018, $7 million. They keep hitting her with tax evasion. I'm going to take you back a few years. There was this show called Hollywood Squares. Paul Lynn 
was the center square. He was the funny one. And the host was a man named Peter Marshall. Well, get ready for kind of like the black version of Hollywood Squares. Celebrity Squares come to VH1 and produced by Kevin Hart. He's got DC Young Fly as the host. And you've got a slew of celebrities. Everybody from Lance Gross, Keisha Knight Pulliam, Tate Diggs, Tiffany Haddish, just to name a few, but it debuts on VH1 October 17th. Yesterday, we were talking about Britney Spears and them damn knives. So here they go. Oh, the knives were plastic. Really? How come she had bandage marks on today? Every day, this woman posts videos. She's got band-aids on her arms, her legs. She cut herself with them knives. They were plastic, plastic wear. Meanwhile, another big story yesterday was... Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift and he mad because the ex start talking you know what happens you start blowing up all of a sudden the ex is running a mouth and she was his sister he says he did not cheat on her and that they have not spoken in over five years because they met when he had a reality show back in the day because she said once a cheat always a cheat Taylor you better be careful. Well, he's very mad that she's come out blasting him. And he says that he never cheated. Happy birthday, Google. Google is 25 years old. Do you remember your life before Google? I know. I'm on Google every day. I'm looking research, looking for this. Da -da -da, da -da -da. But Google is celebrating 25. Leave a comment. Subscribe to the channel. Whether there's a lot of stuff. Or it's just short and sweet and to the point. Subscribe to the channel so you never miss a thing. And of course, leave a comment. Auntie wants to hear from you. I think I went through everything. But the writer strike is over. Your late night shows are coming as a Monday. I'm Patty Jackson. Thanks for joining me. I'm your auntie of pop culture. Have a great day.